One thing we're seeing at CES this year is that smart cars are the new smartphones. If you want proof of that, we're here at BlackBerry. You probably remember them from the phones with the great keyboards. Now they're working on software for vehicles. Grant, you're with BlackBerry. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Absolutely. Can you talk us through a little bit about what you guys are actually working on and what you're doing? I mean, we sure. know you for phones, so why cars? <laughs> well, Cunix has been in cars in automotive for about 20 years. Number one market share in infotainment, telematics, incredible success in automotive. BlackBerry and Cunix coming together are going to enable us the connected car as well as the autonomous car of the future and make them safe and make them secure. So I mean, are cars a big push for software makers? Is this becoming an increasingly important market? Oh, absolutely. So you're seeing more and more software software in vehicles today. You're going to see more in the future. You're seeing automakers invest tremendously in software. Software is going to be the differentiation in the car. It's going to help make cars safer, make them more secure. Ultimately, it's what you need to drive and get us to that self-driving vehicle. So talk us through a little bit about what you guys are actually working on and what you're showing here today. Sure. What we're showing here is a combination of things. So one, in the Jaguar, what we've got is we have an integrated system that provides an infotainment system and digital instrument cluster that are completely separated and secure, all being driven by the Cunix platform for infotainment we'll and the Cunix platform for clusters. Yeah. yeah. So it's a nice break from the hubbub of the show to close the doors on you a bet. quality car, get a bit of quiet for a minute. Um, you're showing your software inside a Jaguar here. So what's different about this? Why, why is this better than... So what we've done, to your point, is we've replaced the displays and whatnot, and we're running our Kinex platform for entertainment, Kinex platform for instrument clusters. What we're doing is actually we've consolidated these onto one computer system. So normally you would have two ECUs, electronic control units, one for the cluster, one for infotainment. What we're doing is actually combining them into one and making use of the Cunix hypervisor so we can actually separate and isolate the cluster from the digital. So digital the cluster is the one in front of me. You know, we've got like, these are some safety critical things telling us about, you know, the car, the speed limit. This is where your lights, your indicators, the gear, everything would show up. This is pretty critical screen to not have go wrong. And so these are normally built in a very robust, fairly simple way. Whereas what's happening in the middle here, this is less critical, right? Correct. Yes, exactly. So this would, for instance, have your warning lights, so your engine warning light and whatnot. Those are deemed safety critical elements of your vehicle. Your park, your what's called the Prindle park reverse, you know, neutral drive. Um, so this is a, a traditional infotainment system, I guess, that with running all of our our software and whatnot. And so we've added some things here which are interesting. So you can go to full screen for a full screen map view if you want. Nice. Um, you can also return. There, yeah, exactly. And you can actually go back to usual. You can also flip these back and forth so you can have the map down below and above. You'll never see this exact user interface in a vehicle, this is what we provide to the automakers and the tier ones, and then they'll go and they'll customize it. So here's an example of Ford Smart Device Link, for instance, that we've integrated. Um, so we're connecting through a handset to make that work. Um, so I can choose my music app. So you I can have do it. Sure. Here. So that's coming off of a, a, a handset and actually through Ford's smart device link connecting to Cunix car infotainment um, and actually obviously integrated, completely integrated into the vehicle. But again, you've got those risks if you have a handset plugged in, mm -hmm. then obviously this is this is a place where viruses, malware, whatever else can be introduced to exactly. a vehicle. Uh, you're having to be presumably very careful that you're firewalling that away from the safety critical. Exactly, and that's what the automakers and the tier ones absolutely rely on us for, is that separation, that isolation of these systems, so that malware cannot be introduced into the vehicle. When will we see this on the roads? Soon, very soon. And you might see it in the form of one large display, you might see it in the, more of a traditional format, uh, but we're working with automakers now to actually make this happen in the next-gen vehicles.